Usually in books we find examples such as find the function at 4 if f of x equals x squared plus 3. Please notice the notation is written as the function of x for x squared plus 3. We insert 4 in the equation, square it, we get 16, and add 3, which is 19. Notice how the formula defines the function and gives the value of 19 to the function when x is 4. Again, remember that this is the same as calling f of x y. The letters or symbols that you use could change and the variables may be c, d, h, t, or whatever. Also, you will sometimes find that instead of f, g is used but you still call it the function of. Another example could look like this. The function of g of v equals v minus 3 to the 1 half. Find the function at 12, 15, and 2. Now, you have to remember that anything elevated to the 1 half is the exponential form of the square root, or the square root of v minus 3. So, substituting 12 for v, we get 12 minus 3 equals 9. Square root of 9 is 3. Again, we substitute. This time for 15. 15 minus 3 equals 12. Square root of 12 is about 3.464. Again, we substitute and we get 2 minus 3 equals negative 1. The square root of negative 1 is undefined and the answer is not a real number. Let's try another example. This time we'll define the function using two formulas. Find the function of f at 0 0.4 and the function of f at 2. If f of x equals 1 over x minus 2 and 2x squared plus 3, if x is less than 1, and if x is greater than 1. Because 0 0.4 satisfies x is less than 1, we'll use the top part. Substituting 0 0.4 for x, the solution will read, the function of f at 0 0.4 equals 1 over 0 0.4 minus 2 equals 1 over negative 1.6 or negative 1 over 1.6. If you care to divide, the answer is negative 0 0.625. Next, because 2 satisfied x is greater than 1, we'll use the bottom part for the second formula. Substituting 2 for x, it reads, the function of f at 2 equals 2 times 2 squared plus 3. 2 squared is 4. Times 2 is 8. Plus 3 is 11. 